Introduce yourself, please. Is this on? Yes, here? sir. My name is Randy Gilbert. I'm here today with our daughter, Kendra Gilbert Nusky. Kendra was a former patient of Dr. Brzezinski's. She was diagnosed with an inoperable grade three anaplastic astrocytoma at the age of 22. It is only by the grace of God and the options created through the innovative research of a true medical pioneer, Dr. Stanislav Brzezinski, that Kendra is alive now and eight years cancer free. I have with me a brief sworn affidavit to be entered into the public input of this meeting, documenting our journey, our relationship with Dr. Brzezinski, and our successful outcome. As evidenced by the diversity of Dr. Brzezinski's past cured patients here today, it should be abundantly clear that cancer is not a res respecter of any persons. It matters not if you're a man or woman, your age, your education, your religion, your ethnicity, socioeconomic background. This also includes the attorney staff of the Texas Medical Board. We all have a stack, stake in the outcome of today's hearing. I believe that the Texas Medical Board is made up of very intelligent individuals who know the basic difference between what is right and what is wrong. I believe that each member has the ability to recognize and understand the successes that many medical status quo professionals have proven time and time again through their independent tests and independently recorded results as they monitor the journey of Dr. Wisniewski's patients. The success recorded cannot be ignored. Today we stand at a seemingly manufactured crossroad. This is the day that each of you will individually shape the future of medical history. Will you choose to embrace medical history innovation and encourage medical pioneers to continue their quest? Or will you stifle real progress towards eradicating this deadly disease and protect those who have a financial interest in the status quo? The choice to support innovation enthusiastically should be very easy to make for people with integrity. The decision not only, only becomes uncomfortable and difficult when choice is clouded by personal agendas. As you are considering future decisions, be mindful that someone in your personal life at some point will find themselves facing a similar situation that each of us who are here supporting Dr. Brzezinski have had to face. At that point, you will remember this day. Whether you are looking into the eyes of a loved one or looking into a mirror, you will be reminded of your decisions. What will you tell yourself when the questions come to bear? Did I encourage medical innovation when I had the opportunity? Did I fight to eradicate cancer? Did I raise the standard of care to a new level? Will your answer be yes, I'm glad I did, or will it be I wish I had? Only at that exact moment will you truly understand the impact of your ongoing decisions. A wish and 30 pieces of silver will not restore your health or bring you comfort. I thank you for your allowing Dr. Brzezinski to continue treating patients and allowing him to continue to give patients options and a choice. I totally disagree with your sanctions. Without treatment, Kendra would not be alive and a vibrant part of our family today. Choose your future sanctions wisely. Choose them like your life depends on the outcome. Cancer itself has no respect or fear of the Texas Medical Board or its attorneys. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.